Andrew Dye here, Unity Homes. I'm at the site of a Zoom-style project in northern New Hampshire. It's at the sheetrocking stage, and we're going to take a quick look around the outside and do a quick tour through the inside. You can see that there are two different roof pitches going on here, actually three if you count the breezeway that connects the garage and the house. Normally on the Zoom, the roof is all pitched one direction, but in some cases, as here, the roof pitch of the garage was switched in order to allow for that pitch to face south for solar panels on the garage. This design is a bit unusual in that we've connected the main volume of the Zoom to the garage with this simple open breezeway connector, but it's a way of keeping these volumes separate and facilitating that transition of the roof pitches from one direction on the house to the other direction on the garage. The entry door here has an apron roof that's supported by these timber brackets. The windows were all pre-installed in the shop. Here at this gable end of the building, we see the line sets for the mini split heating and cooling system. Those are the white insulated pipes coming out from a mechanical space up above the flat ceiling above the bathroom. So those are coming out and they'll connect to a ground mounted compressor unit outside. There's a vent up high that's for the ventilation system. I believe that's a concentric pipe that's doing both the intake and the exhaust for the ventilation system. And there's a wire here that's coming out through a preform penetration that'll serve the compressor unit for the mini split heating and cooling system. This zone is built on a slab foundation. There was some slope to the site, but it was built up enough. A level area was created, as you can see, with a bunch of fill to allow for the slab foundation. We pre-install those soffit boards on the roof panels in the shop. And then you'll see finished boards on these roof panels inside that are also pre-installed in the shop. So this design actually has a screen porch integrated into this corner of the building. It can be pretty buggy up here in northern New Hampshire, so that'll be a nice feature to have the screen porch. And that'll be accessible via a door on the left there that's covered with the scaffolding and the plywood. This hose bib here would also be going through a preformed penetration through the wall panels that we would have done in the shop. And there's a wire coming out for a floodlight up high again. A penetration that we would have run through the wall panel in the shop. The timbers that frame the screen porch and this open breezeway are part of the shell package. Here's another look at the roof pitch on the garage which is sloping down to the south to allow for the photovoltaic panels that will be installed there and that transition at the breezeway to the roof pitch on the main house which is going the other direction it allows for these windows to face south and bring in southern light. So heading into the garage, I was just delivering some trim. These are ceiling batten trim pieces that will cover the seams in the roof panels. These interior doors were dropped off by the supplier Cleary Millwork. And these pieces of clear trim here are part of the tempo package more ceiling battens and window sills, pre-finished window sills. You'll see the what we call the Type 6 drywall return inside that's been installed by the sheet rocker. So the electrician has installed a sub-panel here in the garage that it will be for an electric vehicle charger. You see that heavy cable that's run to the sub-panel from the main panel in the house. Brian Gall is here on site for Presby Construction. He's been giving me the lowdown about what's working well and what could be improved as far as Unity's package. All right, transitioning from the garage through the breezeway into this entry hall. There's a window that goes out to the screen porch. 
this room on the right will be a den or a home office, and you can see it's framed for pocket doors. Coming into the main volume of the Zoom, this should look familiar to those of you who've seen other videos or been in a Zoom. It's all sheetrocked. It's the hallway down to the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Got this characteristic timber posts and beam here outlining the kitchen space. The range hood has been pre-installed and vented to the outside. Those windows will be above the sink. That door on the left with the transom above goes out to the screen porch. You can see the ceiling boards that were pre-installed on the roof panels in the shop. And that's actually a water line running through that uh, gap between the ceiling boards. It's running up the ceiling and then it goes down through the service cavity to that hose bib that we saw on the outside. It's a little unusual to use that chase for water lines. Normally it's for electrical wires, for ceiling fans and pendants and things like that. Uh, but in this case, it was the best way to get that water line to that hose bib. Here's the inside of the main entry door. So we have an entry hallway. There's a duct there in the ceiling that's a return duct for a ducted mini split that'll feed the bedrooms and the bathrooms. This is a mechanical space and laundry area with a pocket door. So we'll have laundry here. We'll have a water heater in the corner. And the HRV ducting is coming out of the ceiling. The HRV will be the heat recovery ventilator will be installed here. And here we have the main electric panel for the house. Walking down the hallway, we've got the secondary bedroom here. Sheetrock being taped. Closet. And there's kind of this fun away nook that's been created above the closet spaces. So this will have a little ship's ladder, a little railing, and kind of a place to get away to. Uh, maybe some beanbag chairs up there in that space. That was the builder's idea to create that. So the sheet rocker used a tearaway bead. It's a, a Trimtex product, and it allows him to tape right up to those ceiling boards. And then there's a little piece of the bead that just tears away after the taping and painting are done to leave a clean line there. You work a lot with that Trimtex bead? You like that tearaway bead? Yeah. It's okay if I videotape you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, across the hallway from that bedroom, we've got this bathroom here. There's a, a linen closet there, a recess for a closet. We have a tub shower here on the left. It's ready for the cement board. It's a shower valve, shower head, and a window, and the toilet will be in that corner. And there will be a sink here and a vanity. Moving to the end of the hallway and through this door into the primary bedroom. And the bedrooms have the same nice vaulted ceilings. Big windows to the south. A large closet here for this bedroom. The duct above the doorway is part of that heating and cooling system, the ducted zone for that mini split. And the bathroom here will have a shower with a shower head overhead. That's the shower space. Uh, space for the toilet here. And then a vanity with a double sink here. Take a quick look at the uh, the trim here, this is that chamfer bead, which runs around three sides of the window. And the pre-finished maple sills 
that I was just delivering will get installed at the bottom here with a little piece of apron trim underneath. Back into the main part of the house. I've been really impressed with the quality of workmanship that I'm seeing here on the job site. It's a neat job site. Everything looks really well put together by the people working on it after we put up the shell. And I'm confident that they'll be able to take the materials that we're supplying for the tempo package and, uh, and make them look beautiful as they get installed here on site. That's it for this quick tour. It's Andrew Dye signing off from a Zoom project in northern New Hampshire.